Hello. Husky's back again with more New York Rangers franchise mode commentary in NHL 18. Um, so I've been doing a dumb in terms of my video quality. Uh, I've always had my OBS, which is what I record in, set to 1080p 60fps. Um, my, my Elgato capture card does 1080p, but it's not new enough to do 60fps. Now the frame rate doesn't really matter in this in this because this game's not optimized for 60 FPS. But what I've also did not notice is that I watched back that last New York Rangers video and I noticed that it seemed grainy in parts. Like the line around Mahar's head, the, so the gray line, was uh, was kind of pixelated. So I went into my capture card settings and son of a bitch, wouldn't you know it, I've been recording in 720p this whole time. Um, it's been uploaded to 1080p, but it's been upscaled so it doesn't look as good. Now if you full screen it, there is a considerable difference. I'm so upset with myself for letting that go on for so long. So every video from here on out will be true 1080p. It won't be 60 FPS. It'll be 30 FPS. Since I don't have an Xbox One X. And I don't think this game is optimized for 60 FPS. So, But that's enough of my being dumb with quality. Uh, last video we had a an interesting regular season. And a very... A very... Um, tense first round series against the Philadelphia Flyers. We needed we needed Curry to step up and he put performed big time with back to back shutouts in game six and seven. So we're on to round two and of course we're playing the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, if you didn't check out the roster vote video there will be a link in the upper right hand corner at the two minute mark. You can check that out to see which roster we're gonna go with for our fantasy draft GM mode. But looking at the playoff tree in front of us, uh, Columbus 4-0'd the Penguins. That's not looking good. Let's look at our stats. We got carried by our first line. Oh, no, we had some pretty good depth scoring, didn't we? Yeah, our, our top six looked pretty good. This is a complete opposite of what our Kings team has been doing. Our Kings team has been carried hard by the first line, whereas this team has been pretty balanced out. Even Devin Shore getting two goals in the first series. That fourth line doing work for us. Oh, I need to go back to that screen because I need to see the standings. See how Columbus did in the regular season. I know they won the division, but our division was so close. I think they only got us by like two points, if that. Three points. So we finished third, technically. Three points behind the Blue Jackets. They were a 100-point team. To put that in perspective, the entire league, they were ninth in the league in points. And they won the division. So there's some significantly better teams out there, mostly in the Western Conference. LA, Edmonton, Calgary, Chicago, Winnipeg. So we kind of got the luck of the draw here. And uh, looking at their team, um, they struggle to score offensively. I just got to do a quick sign in. It's not very professional, I know, but it's okay. I'm not a professional YouTuber. Alright, so looking at their goals for 2.24, 2.2 against, so, or 2.24, and 2.1 against. So they got good defense, but they kind of, they struggle to put the puck in the net, which is not a surprise. It seems to be the case with all these teams we play against. They have strong defense, but their offense just doesn't cut it. Um, as for their power play, 17%. Again, not very good. Penalty kill, though, 84%. That is good. They do take a lot of penalties. Oh, so do we. Oh, we score short-handed. They do not. And they're about to split home on the road. So this is going to be a tough series. I'm interested to see what Columbus is rocking in terms of a roster. So let's go have a look-see. I'm still upset at myself for that 1080p 720 debacle. Can't believe I let that go on for so long. All right, so Columbus... All right, so Sam Reinhardt, Alex Wenberg, Sam Buganekni, Buganeki. Alex Wenberg's still there. Wow, so is Brandon Saad. I'm impressed. They kept some good. And Bjorkstrand. Wow. Matthias Yalmerson, Nick Merkley, Brandon Saad. Brandon Saad's coming up at the end of his career. 35 years old. How old is Wenberg? 33. Adam Georges, Alan Gabranson, Tyson Higgins. This is a good team. Very good team. But again, goal scorers on the third line... But they really don't seem to be putting the puck in the net. 
Uh, there's no goal scorers on the second line. Brandon Saad can be a goal scorer, but he's more of a two-way guy. And on that first line, there's not... I mean, Buganeki... Buganeki... Yeah, Buganeki. Ah, jeez. He's got good scoring talent. He probably, yeah, 32 goals. I mean, his shots, five stars, 90s across the board, except for his accuracy. 92 offensive awareness, so he's pretty good. And, I mean, they've got depth. They've got, they, like I said, they are a good defensive team. And they've got some fourth-line scorer, probably. Yep, Dorshin has two goals so far in the postseason. Uh, looking at defensively, Nelson Thornton, Seth Jones, Mark Dosh, Ole Ulevi, Brian Arnott, and Ryan Pulick. That's a good decor. That's scary good. As far as this team only won, had 100 points, I figured they'd be better. Who's their goalie? Ethan Triff. I mean, this team, they again, it's going to come. 974 Sapers. He gave up. How many goals did he give up? He played four games and gave up three goals. <laughs> okay, this is going to be bad. <laughs> this, is, this might be rough. This might be rough. Let's go see how we did against them in the regular season. What's going to be this team's downfall is their inability to score. Because they do not have a powerful offense. So if we can get two goals, we can beat them. But here, look at that. 4-2 to two they beat us right at the start early in the season. Uh, avoided them for a while. Avoided them for a while. Again, 3-2. to two. They got three. They beat us in a shootout 3-2. to two. Again, low scoring game. So we're 0-2-1 against them. I think we have that last one in April, right? I didn't... Yeah, we got him on the last game of the season and beat him two to one. So this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. We got our work cut out for us here. Let's see if we can uh and figure out Ethan Merkley or Ethan Merkley. Ethan Trife back there. Let's go boys. We need oh early first period power play. Let's see if it nets us anything. Oh it might have oh, it didn't, but Pogi gets us on the board one nothing. That's a good start. Oh Rankin, but George's answers. Two to one going into the third. Again, two goals. With our team, should be enough to win these games. I'm very confident in the fact that we can put these games away with only scoring two goals. Power play. Oh, man, they're out shooting us big time, though. 33 to 19. We get a power play. Can we ice them? No. Come on, Curry. Stand tall back there, buddy. Nice. Jeffrey Young gets the empty netter. We take game one. Three to one in Columbus. That's big. Again, their lack of firepower just... They've got a whole bunch of facilitators, but they just don't have that quality quality score aside from the dude in the first line. Buganeki. Buganeki. I, I want to say it's Buganeki. It might be Buganekni. I don't know. All right, so 0-0 zero, zero after one. 15-5 in shots, so we came out firing. Ooh, Gabranson got one, though. This might be a, They might play a trap and get up one and then just fall, run to a 1-4 trap and keep us stagnant in the neutral zone all right power play nets us nothing they get a long power play including a, yeah they're gonna score one there they had like a six minute power play with a five on three in there two nothing that's probably gonna be a game we're not gonna score two late goals against this team all right so columbus fires back ethan trifes third shot out of the postseason so far they've only played six games all right that's all right We'll answer right here. We'll get it. We'll get him for a couple. All right, Bugenekni gets one. Torsten Husalius answers though. We only had four shots. Oh boy. All right, Mahar got us on the board, but Bugenekni and Jalmerson, 24. Oh man, they're really dominating the play. But Husalius gets another one. Oh, power play. Good kill. We're really playing like. Oopsie. We're really playing counterattack hockey right now. We're getting dominated but playing to our strengths and trying to find openings i don't like our chances in overtime against this team i'm gonna be honest shots are 37 to 15 going into overtime we get an early power play oh that was that might have been the time to ice it that might have been our only shot we've kind of come alive here in the over the overtime has been even shot totals are still outrageously in columbus's favor just got to... Oh, and I get it. Bjorkstrand, the fourth line, wins it for him. Damn. Alright, game four. Down two games to one. We got to even the series up, boys. We got to even it up right here before we go back to Columbus. We can't have those cannons going off. That's just going to be huge in game five. So let's take game four and just settle it down. Alright. Alright, so the offense came to play. 
McLeod, Devin Shore, Patrick Kane, but Wenberg and Higgins kept it close, three to two after one. All right, game game has settled. Both teams have understood the fact that they've came out a little too strong there in the first, a little too open. But luckily, Patrick Kane's third, like fourth goal. Oh, McLeod, the other both McLeods on the board. Power play, put it away, ice it. Oh, I, I'm pretty confident with a two goal lead this late in the game. Very nice, very nice. All right, tied at two, going to game five. Again, we just we don't want to have them have the momentum, man. These cannons going off in here, it's because they don't seem like they go off very often. But when they, why's Patrick Kane taking the first face off? Oh, all right. So cannons are firing early. Buganeki and Pulak score, but McLeod does keep it in one goal game at least. We are out shooting them. Oh, Buganeki again. Rasmus Dahlin gets one. Three to two, though. I know there's a voice crack. That was nice. Oh, Hurdle. Nice. That third pairing defenseman tying the game. Can we please win in regulation? I don't want to go to overtime again. I don't like our chances in overtime. I really don't. Oh, no. He gets a hat trick. Oh, and the cannons are loud and clear. Columbus takes game five, four to three. So this team that struggles to score, they're coming out and they're keeping pace right now. There's what, four, two, four, two, and one. So, I mean. All right, come on, boys. Game six, back in New York. We got to force game seven again. Come on, Curry. You were money last series. All right, that's how you start it. You give your goalie the confidence he needs. Shea, Rankin, Arkhipov. Nice. Three to one after one. Let's keep it rolling. There we go. I'll take three to one after two. We only given up eleven shots so far. This is exactly what we needed. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm a little scared that we have to go into Columbus for Game Seven, but nice, Mahar, four to one. That should just be icing on the cake. We've only given up sixty. Can we keep them underneath twenty shots? We sure can. Nineteen shots. We just suffocated. That was big. All right, game seven, yet again. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Let's go. Game seven against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Full sim, let's get it. Come on, boy. Oh, we take a penalty three minutes in. All right, good kill. Oh, we get a power play? Oh, we immediately negate it. But kill it off. Power play for Columbus, all right, good kill. Another power play. Stay out of the box, guys. What the hell? All right, who's taking all the penalties? Pogi, high sticking. Malstrom, delay game. McLeod, hooking. Shea, high sticking. Double minor. How did that get canceled out so quickly? Interesting. All right, come on. We got to find something here in the second, boys. We got to find something. So far, both teams kind of stop taking penalties. Who took that one? Eusalius and Rankin. Zero zero after two. Why do you got to do this to me? Why do you got to do this to me? Come on, McDavid. Oh, Jeffrey on. Thank you. Thank you. I'll admit I had my eyes closed. I didn't see that right away. Come on, Curry. Game 7 magic, buddy. Game 7 magic. Oh, Patrick Kane. The dagger. Oh, and we get it. Curry. My man. Back-to-back -back Game 7 shutouts. That's nasty. If that's not a 99 poise, I don't know what is. Back-to-back. -back. Whew. All right, and we get the Florida Panthers. They were the best Eastern Conference team. 110 points. They're eight and one in the postseason. They're gonna be a tough task. But either way, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. As always, comment section below for predictions, reactions. Um, please don't tell me how dumb I am for the video quality. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you on Tuesday for the conference finals.